you welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's gonna bless you your graces are gonna be imparted onto you and then God is gonna visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed spiritual possibilities don't happen and just generalize it and think everybody who walks in power is just faking it no there are there is an investment of prayer sacrifice with fasting let me tell you food is good but food can be dangerous if you don't have an appetite you don't have the power to tame it are we together yes sir I know there are all kinds of arguments in the body of Christ about fasting. That's not my assignment tonight. But I'm telling you if it is authentic spiritual power, power as of old you are looking for, the ministry of prayer with fasting. There are people if by 7 a.m. in the morning you don't eat, it will be as if you are having headache. It's a spirit. I assure you, even medically, it's not even absolutely correct. The day you don't want to fast, you can stay even by 4 p.m. and forget. But the day you say, I will fast, 7.30. And some of you will use Tom Tom or Zobo to break that fast. Is that normal? Is that what will satisfy your hunger? It's a spirit. Let me tell you the truth. There is no gift of fasting. Fasting, all kinds of fasting take discipline. Let no one make you feel that there's an extra grace. There is no record of any unusual grace for fasting in the Bible. Fasting affects your spirit, soul, and body. You will feel tired. You will feel the weight of hunger. But it takes you placing value. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame. For someone God is speaking to you, gluttony is what is eating your potential for genuine spiritual power. Talk to spirits, they talk back to you. They keep quiet. Even we are spirits who are not eating. You who wants to cast. <laughs> you don't just tell somebody, come. You don't just speak and you see, people are just shouting. It takes more than laying on of hands, my brother. There is a testament. Praying, fasting. Many of us, if we check your prayer account, you don't have up to 1,000 naira. How much? And yet, you want to buy houses in the spirit? You want to buy estates? You are joking. With 1,000? Even in a credit system, the bank will not give you money with that kind of bad account. You need to up your game. Wake up in the night. Sala sapakatoshiata. Rakata brandeke bakosatia lakatoshia. Wake up in the night, wake up in the night. Shake slumber out of your body. Wake up in the night, pray. Pray with seriousness. Don't pray while browsing, you are playing. Don't pray while running around, answering a call and coming back. If it is time to pray, shut down everything. Nothing else matters. Nothing else counts. Lord, I pray concerning this assignment that you have for me. Who but you can empower a man to take the nations. Lord, there are sick bodies that need to be healed. There are lives and destinies. Only God knows how many dead bodies have been allocated for your anointing to raise back. Only God knows how many wheelchairs are at the mercy of your spiritual development. Lord, for my sake, for, for the sake of your name, move, move in and through my life. And one night you will go to pray like every other night. Except that while you are praying, something happens to you that did not happen before. And you will know something has come upon you. The next time you stand before people, God's people, He will honor you. You run away from Him in the secret and want to play church 
and think he will just honor you in the presence of people you are playing games you see we keep making a fool of ourselves because we think that God plays all kinds of games and gimmicks you think you just stand before people talking and you see people shouting up and down you try it you must pray you must pray there are times you need to settle down pray carry your vision what God has given you place it on the ground and pray Lord you told me my assignment is to raise my five children they will not fail father you sent me as as an apostle as a prophet as an evangelist for your glory as i travel from nation to nation lord i pray in the name of jesus let the two lift gates of the cities be open for the gospel let there be healings lord you have made me a worshiper listen hold on one minute let me talk to you my dear worship people pray oh don't just have good voices for songs you see let me tell you why many 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 people who sing don't bless people they don't pray they only train their voice voice training without a track record of solid prayer the deficiency will show on stage no matter how you twist your voice you are leading praise and worship you don't just rehearse and clear your voice and take lemon and honey and come and sing you are dealing with spirits you are dealing with destinies take out time and pray from that place of prayer the difference will be very clear that you are carrying something on your head please my dear people pray worship team pray God is raising you it's not only your songs it is prayer that puts something on that song more than melodies and you stand to lead worship and as you just raise one song the glory that emanates from your prayer altar through your voice just sweeps across the place and you are seeing sick bodies getting healed you are not even aware just one song and they say what kind of a worshiper are you it's beyond songs beyond songs it is in the place of prayer you will receive many songs there are songs you don't have the brain to compose they will come by the spirit sometimes you will fall asleep while praying and then you will hear the angels are singing hosanna in the highs the angels are singing you will not hear any angel with spiritual or seriousness no prayer and fasting please pray I will not give you rules but let me challenge you if you are a serious Christian this is my personal opinion at least there should be a day once a week for you to fast if that is too much then forget about revival believe me this is not a doctrine I'm giving you there's no place like that in scripture but I'm telling you any as if you are called into ministry let me challenge you and, and and admonish you by the message of god except you want to make mockery of yourself and make mockery of the name of the lord through your life there is a level of stamina you have to trust god for grace to tame food it is good to eat i'm not one of these people that advocate people have died through carelessness and died the death of fools that's not what i'm teaching you You want to lay hands on the sick and see miracles you want to speak the word of god and let it come with power man of god pray there are some of us who are young we are just starting and already we are careless one month no prayer no fasting and i hope you know that fasting is not just a time where you abstain from food and sleep you are not fasting albeit that is important for your health but that is not fasting when there is no prayer what study and worship you did not fast let me repeat when there is no prayer what study and worship you did not fast 
no matter even if you do 48 hours 72 hours that was spent sleeping if there is no prayer word study and worship you did not fast so just because you slept by nine and woke up by four and slept back again and woke up quarter to five and already started arranging your food waiting for six on the dot of course God will honor you he's merciful but I am telling you that's not fasting and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in Give us verse 14, Luke 4 14. Let's hurry up. Luke 4 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. In verse 1, he was driven by the Spirit, full of the Spirit, but the Bible does not mention power. Verse 14, having prayed and fasted, even though with the Spirit. He returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And the Bible says there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about. I believe in the ministry of fasting and prayer. Please submit yourself. Fasting is not for men of God. Fasting is not for those in trouble. Fasting is not for those that the doctors say they have diabetes or they have, you know, something that is wrong with them medically. Fasting is for all men. I truly believe that. Prayer with fasting. Prayer with fasting. Prayer with fasting. Hallelujah. If you are pregnant and you have children, don't worry, we'll fast for you. Our fasting will cover you. And even children too can fast. Let me tell you, don't over pamper your children until spirits enter them. Children can fast. You can, they can fast and end by 12. It does not kill them. Don't say my child is too small. Let him grow. By the time he grows, he already has. Do you think that it was a legion that entered the madman in Gadara in one day? They kept coming and calling themselves and said, this man is an available tool until they became a legion. Encounter with the spirit of power. Number two, the second platform. I hope you got my arrangement. That I'm giving you three biblical platforms for accessing power with God. Number one is through encounters. Encounter with the spirit of power. And that there are two conditions. You want to encounter the spirit of God with his power. Your heart condition. And then the ministry of prayer and fasting. Number two. The second platform for accessing power is... Power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture. There is a dimension of power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture. You can also put in bracket comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. The second level of spiritual power is accessed through understanding of scripture, understanding the mysteries of the kingdom. The principles of the kingdom have within them a measure and a dimension of God's power already pre-programmed. Please listen. You can access a dimension of spiritual power based on light, illumination that comes from scripture. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. It says, and now brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance it takes power for you to walk in that inheritance and that because you have embraced the word of god it is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified second peter chapter 3 and verse 18 second peter 3 18 it says but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen.
grow in grace and in the knowledge the original rendition there is not just grow in grace and in the knowledge it is grow in grace through the knowledge grow in grace and your growth in grace comes through knowledge the higher your level of light the higher the spiritual power that you command are we together now yes there are things you need to know about the kingdom the way the kingdom was built advancement and power is light dependent to the degree to which you access the scriptures that means if someone comes and is saying listen there is darkness in this and that area of my life i need help you must have the level of spiritual understanding to be able to guide them to access the power of god that comes through knowledge fight ignorance fight ignorance fight ignorance believers obtain grace to study and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation you must obtain grace to have high level spiritual illumination this is the reason why coming to the house of god is very important because the house of god affords you very cheaply the privilege of being methodically mentored guided in partnership with the holy spirit when he the spirit of truth is come before the holy spirit came as the spirit of power in acts chapter 2 jesus told us that he will come and guide us you're not going to walk in spiritual power in ignorance it will be a risk for you to be a powerful but ignorant believer power comes with light light power comes with illumination and jesus himself the powerful knew what he would do is god speaking to someone power for instance there are certain possibilities in the kingdom that if you just have wisdom that comes through the word you will know what to do let me show you a scripture i found this scripture and it really blessed me proverbs 3 35 while i was preparing this note i just stumbled across this scripture and it ministered so deeply to me and i added it among the scriptures it says the wise shall inherit glory but shame shall be the promotion of fools the wise you will always see the glory of god around the life and the corridors of wisdom the wisdom that comes through the word it's impossible for your life to not capture and manifest the glory of god if you submit to the wisdom of the word financial glory glory in terms of influence whatever it is the power of god revealed through your life by reason of accessing wisdom for instance if doors have been closed against you and you are trusting god for open doors it's not just the issue of demons and casting out demons maybe you do not have the wisdom to understand the gift and the ministry of men hallelujah oh lord send somebody to my life to help me and god says that dimension of power is released through understanding the favor of god can come and wait at the corridor of your destiny for many years but because you have not gone to understand the dynamics honor value see your destiny helper can come sent by God to beautify and glorify your life but you use your mouth you use carelessness you use dishonor and lack of discernment to recycle seasons of pain you can pray and fast but because you do not understand the principles of scripture hallelujah this is very important you must learn the ways of God there are many of you who don't read books you don't study any material you don't learn the Bible says buy the truth and sell it not it takes hunger and diligence please go online and listen to my message buy the truth I preached it in Takoradi in Ghana buy the truth it's a very I listed there in that teaching five currencies that we use to buy the truth hunger meekness honor these are currencies that we use to buy the truth you must passionately learn learn the things that you do not know knowledge is available knowledge is more available today than it was any time in history it takes humility and a recognition that if i do not know 
and I remain in darkness. Anything you want to learn today, it is available. You want to make yourself more valuable, even physically, it is available. Your destiny helper comes to your house and you don't know how to cook and you say, God will favor me. You did not bless the person. Are you not in trouble? Can't you go and meet somebody to learn how to cook as a way of preparing to honor your destiny helper? A man old enough to be your father comes to your house and after two hours you give him a cup of cold water and he says, God forbid. <laughs> Hallelujah. You do not understand the principles of relationship and courtesy to greet. Those little, little things can rob you of the power of God. You may not see the power that is invested through knowledge. Believers, please hear me. You must understand the word dimension of the power of God. Go for the word. I immerse myself in knowledge. The knowledge of scripture and then wisdom from men and women with proven track records. It's not only God I want to know. I want to know the men I am sent to. I want to understand how men think. I want to understand the principles of influence. I want to understand leadership. I want to understand how to impact people. It's not an impartation. It comes by knowledge. Go and buy books. Go online. Settle down. Give yourself revelation projects and settle down and learn. If you're with me, say amen. amen. Please obtain grace to learn. Obtain grace to learn. Don't be lazy. Reject laziness. It is of the devil. It is a robber and a destroyer of beauty and color from a destiny. A lazy generation that just believes in impartation alone will only be making a mockery of themselves. Let me tell you sincerely. It is often said, on easy lies the head that wears the crown. If you are a man of God, the only thing you learn is not, it's not only prayer and fasting and Bible study you learn. You must learn administration. You must learn finances. You must learn leadership. You must learn people skills. Are we together? There are all kinds of veterans of leadership within this ministry. Go and subscribe for their programs and learn and build capacity. Sometimes we suffer the pain of a generation that does not want diligence, but we want results. Oh God, it doesn't matter how you do. Let me just see the results. I know you are merciful. The mercy of God is not a license for foolishness. Let me tell you the truth. A diligent hand shall be made fat. There are many lazy preachers, I'm sorry to say. There are many lazy business people. You want to have influence over people? It is not only anointing you will need. An empty and a dull head. Nobody will come and submit to any leadership that does not have capacity. People are intelligent people. Don't forget that some of the people you will find around you are also leaders in their corporations, conglomerates. They have children. Some of them are employers of people to the thousands. They will not come and sit down under a leader that does not know what he's saying. There has to be a high level of advanced, developed intelligence. Your mind must be alive, not your spirit alone. And it takes diligence. Receive grace to be diligent. Shout a loud amen. Receive grace to be diligent. Avoid premature manifestation. If you are not ready, sit down. When you are ready, the door will open. If the door is closed, it's God's mercy keeping you so that you don't rubbish the opportunity he's giving you. Sit down. Sit down and learn. Make up your mind. That when God brings you to your season of appearance, you will not bring shame and reproach to yourself and to the name of Christ. Hallelujah. The understanding of scripture empowers men to release that dimension of God's power. The Bible says, There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty, to penury. That means if you are a greedy person who is always withholding, forget about increase. Whether it is in the secular or in the kingdom, 
you see giving is one of the major active ingredients as far as kingdom wealth and prosperity is concerned God will not trust you I hope you know that wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement no maybe in the world it will be but in the kingdom wealth is a trust from God a man can receive nothing except it is given to him from above and there are conditions that must be met God loves everybody but according to Matthew chapter 25 I think from verse 16 or so the parable of the talents the Bible tells us very clearly that he gave unto one five talents he gave unto one one talent a uh, two talents he gave unto one one talent according to their several abilities not according to his love for them he loved all of them but he gave them according to their capacities and at the end of the story we see that he was just and fair to have done that in the kingdom, God will not cast his spell before. Beloved in Christ, thank you for watching this video. If you are new here too, I would entreat you to kindly subscribe to this channel for me and then hit on the like button. Also, I would want you to share this message across. I would want you to do one thing for us. Kindly tell us in the comment section where you're watching us from and you've got any testimony for us. Kindly let us know. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 